Hello everyone, this is Dr. Swapil Mane, a gynec endoscopic surgeon. In uh, lecture part 3, we are going to discuss the different port positions that are commonly used for the gynec endoscopy and uh, relevant information about that. In primary port, there are near about 6 positions are there. As you know, the primary trocar entry is a blind. Only we use a 10 mm trocar for the primary port entry. Just I uh, in last lecture I enumerated that how to hold the trocar. This is the insert trocar or this is cannula. This is the body, neck, and the shaft of the cannula and the CO2 insert plate. Okay. Trocar always hold in such a manner, middle finger here, the index finger will guide the trocar and the thinner paper eminence will push the trocar. Okay. This will be the perfect alignment or perfect holding of the any trocar of any size. This should we hold ideally. And about the positions basically, I would like to draw the six positions of the trocar. So in relation to umbilicus, this is the umbilicus. The first position which is the most commonly used here is the supra umbilical position. There are six positions of primary port entry. This is uh, supra umbilical, 1.5 centimeter above the umbilicus. This is the superior crease technique that is just adjacent to umbilicus. That is also called a uh, crying incision. This is the smiling incision. Imperial crease technique, just half moon shape incision just below the umbilicus. Now the infra umbilical 1.5 to 2 centimeter below the umbilicus. Fifth one is trans umbilical in the umbilicus and sixth one is palmer point just 3 centimeter below the subcostal margin in mid clavicular line in mid clavicular line. These are the six primary port positions are used in endoscopy. Infra umbilical position is most commonly used all over the world, but uh, here the most famous is supra umbilical position. We routinely use supra umbilical position. That is the incision 1.5 centimeter above the umbilicus. And nicking the abdomen, we, we use a 11 number blade that is ideal for the laparoscopy. And while putting the nicking, Suppose we use the 10 mm uh, trocar, so 11 mm skin cut is necessary, 11 mm stab injury is necessary here and we should take the horizontal incision that is along the line of Langerhans, that is always better. Some people may take the vertical incision but horizontal incision always better, that should be a stab incision by the blade number 11. Second is uh, superior crease technique that is adjacent the umbilicus. Some people prefer that uh, incision. Third one is trans umbilical. Trans umbilical is a cosmetic incision that has to be taken inside the umbilicus. Okay. And uh, due to colonization of the bacteria, the epidermidis, streptococcus epidermidis is very common infection here. So those people are actors, models, or uh, those. Uh, Immune personalities, they don't want scar over the abdomen, so they use the umbilical incision, trans umbilical. That is actually a cosmetic incision. But due to direct and those infect uh, bacterial colonization, generally we do not prefer this incision. Okay. The next one is empiricus technique, the crying incision, just below the umbilicus. What is the benefit of this uh, empiricus technique? Is that uh, it is a uh, site for the obliterated whitlow intestinal duct. Whenever we remove the trocar, scar does not remain, the skin automatically closes, the wall automatically closes. So this incision is a scarless incision, that does not give any scar. So this is empiricus technique and second one is the impra umbilical 1.5 centimeter below the umbilicus. 
Palmer's point also mentioned supraamblical is best one due to the various antigens, various umbilical pathology. Then we prepare the supraamblical incision. Palmer's point when there is a great umbilical pathology, any incidence of hernia around umbilicus is suspected, then we go for the Palmer's point. What is the advantage of Palmer's point? Palmer's point, uh, when you suspect this uh, cesarean scar, bowel adhesions around the umbilicus, then we go for the Palmer's point. Palmer's point is medical avicular line a 3 cm below the subcastral margin. That is Palmer point. These are the six most common portal entry points. Palmer's point incision is a good incision because when there is umbilical pathology we are away from the important structures second thing we have to put the nasogastric tube for the patient for depletion of stomach because here stomach is the uh, most common organ for the injury and so stomach also it is called the good organ for the injury stomach wall is consist of the oblique, oblique and longitudinal muscles so even if it injures it always doesn't need the basically suturing or the repair and also we are away from the important structures and uh, we are away from the adhesions these are very common in the gynec uh, pathologies these are the six port positions then one another point that uh, is the central point jin huang point that is uh, the central point between umbilicus and the uh, gp sternum if you want to go higher then uh, that is the central point that is jin huang point can be taken here yeah here at saidam hospital we most commonly use the supraumbilical incision always comfortable this incision is usually each and every surgery so very comfortable incision for that second thing if you want to put the various needle then uh, before uh, taking the various needle we should take the spring action of the various needle that is very important spring action and just uh, instill the normal saline to see the patency of tube because so it, is a, it is having small uh, uh, diameter sm small foramen so that there is a higher chance of uh, blockage of this uh, various needle so has to be checked before the insertion how the various is inserted people use various before uh, before trocar that is fine some we use here direct trocar entry technique the incidence of injury if you put the various if you don't put the various if you put direct trocar incidence of injury is the same that is 0.2 to 3 person so those people are, are using the various needle so we invert the umbilicus by the this one towel clip so that umbilicus will be inverted will put use here alice forcep or this uh, tall clips to pick up the umbilicus that i say pick up the umbilicus and by lifting the abdomen we'll put the various needle and we'll connect it to the co2 insufflator various needle is always inserted vertical if you are having if the patient is having any umbilical pathology previous cesarean scar history of any previous surgery if you think there is dense adhesions around the umbilicus then various needles should be inserted at the j end point that is j point j point is a point that point is near about two centimeter lateral from the supraumbilical incision or the just in relation to left superior leg spine our first secondary trocar two centimeter above and medial from that first secondary trocar that is 10 centimeter above a 2 cm lateral and 10 cm above. Here is the J point. In case of adhesions or ablical pathology, we have we have to insert the uh, various needle here at J point. Okay. Then, while putting the secondary trocar, here we use the 10 mm primary port. For that, the stab insertion should be 11 mm and the three secondary trocar we, we use that is port port technique okay in secondary trocars the port position technique the first secondary trocar should be inserted uh, two centimeter above and medial to the left superior leg spine two centimeter above and medial here is the point basically the first secondary trocar point 
2 cm above and medial that is the first secondary requirement second point is the line joining this point to the umbilicus this is our second secondary requirement the third one is from right ASIS 4 cm above and 1 cm medial first point second point three point these are three secondary port entry points are doctor these are the commonly used points and this four port technique these are the points you can use any gynec endoscopic surgery if you want to do the cystectomy if you want to do tuberplasty if you want to do the wadims everywhere you can use these points any gynec endoscopy no confusion some doctors uh, recommend the uh, different uh, entry points for the different uh, procedures but we, re we have done uh, near about 1600 surgeries in the past nine years so we recommend that these four entry points are sufficient for all surgeries there is no confusion that you can uh, do the tuberplasty you can do the tubal ligation you can do the cystectomy any procedure can be performed this again i repeat the point first secondary po entry point is Two centimeter above and medial. That is first secondary trocar. That is five mm trocar. Line joining the first trocar. Vertical line joining the first trocar and the horizontal line joining from the umbilicus. The junction point. That is second secondary second point. Third point is four centimeter above the ASI and one centimeter medial. The four centimeter above one centimeter medial. That is the third point. These are the four points are sufficient for the all cases. There is no confusion. No no any high five funda for that. So very simple and lucid uh, things that one sec one primary port uh, 1.52 centimeter above the umbilicus and three secondary trocars in such a way already i have mentioned secondary trocar it is of 5 mm basically after insufflation of the gas adequate pneumo protein secondary trocars are always inserted under vision that should be 100 percent under vision so the gynecology should stand on the left side of the each and every operation the assistant or camera person should stand on the right side always table height uh, my waist level ideally at waist level and the upper end of the monitor should correspond to the my vision because in resting phase oculomotor muscles are acting so in resting phase they at the upper border of the monitor should be the uh, below the my vision basically third thing the scientifically people say that our height suppose is 100 centimeter the 49 at 49 centimeter this should be the table should be there at 49 centimeter it means 49 percent of our, our height level the table should be there there are very simple fundas it should be at waist level yeah so this is a very comfortable position for the gynecologist on right hand side gynecologists are not comfortable surgeons are compatible but gynecologists are not compatible any procedure whether cyst on the left side right side any pathology the gynecologist the laparoscopic surgeon can finish on the left side comfortably comfortably yeah so after adequate pneumoperitium the secondary trocar is hold in such a way there is a secondary trocar. any trocar should be hold in such a way i already mentioned yeah then we should stand here after adequate pneumoperitoneum okay i should first poke the abdominal tissue poke the abdominal tissue in perpendicular manner the primary trocar is inserted 45 degree to the horizontal in such a way but in secondary trocar we should be perpendicular to the skin basically otherwise it will create the false passes it will open the multiple layers you, you will go the extra protocol situation just middle to the inferior epigastric artery this two centimeter above and middle this will be the point and i will poke first i will see the tip of the trocar in the monitor and after seeing the tip of the trocar i will move the secondary trocar towards the uterus or towards the pelvis and i will make the rotatory movement till the half trocar will be inside till the half trocar will be inside and then i will remove the insert okay remove the insert 
again i will repeat for first secondary trocar 2 cm above and medial to the left a size i will poke the trocar whenever i see the tip in the monitor then i will change the direction towards the pelvis or uterus and i will push the trocar till half the trocar is inside i will remove the insert 100% under vision this second trocar injury are not pardonable and a very simple thing that no confusion if you go obliquely it will create a false passes whenever you are putting the trocar your trocar after insertion trocar should move in such a way as compared to plastic trocars this metal trocar are always best serrated trocars are always best in such a way will it should be moveable any secondary trocar should be moveable so that instrumentation will and the trocar insertion is the channel for the all the procedure all the instrument so correct trocar placement means the hand you are have the surgery done that should not be fucked about very simple thing a fixed protocol very lucid manner we used to teach the uh, gynec trainees basically over the years and they are adapting they are enjoying their private practice they are enjoying the private lap in uh, laparoscopic surgery in their private nursing homes so very simple thing no confusion people read lots of books on the laparoscopy and uh, hears about the lots of uh, gets the, the theoretical learning from lots of training centers and there are a uh, lot of dilemma confusion so four port technique and any secondary trocar should be inserted in such a manner this will be the first trocar and the second trocar will be inserted here second trocar will be inserted here line joining the uh, first trocar and the uh, that line again joining the umbilicus junction point here is second trocar and third third trocar will be that point these are the secondary trocars these are the positions ideal positions for the trocar any surgery in gynec endoscopy can be complete with this trocar very comfortable yeah then if you're taking the supra umbilical incision if you doubt the accurate it should be done about for 10 mm trocar 11 mm uh, skin has to be cut we are cutting only skin layer we are not cutting the subcutaneous tissue we are not cutting the uh, rectus sheath Uh, for this purpose we are cutting only the uh, skin only before insertion of any trocar if you have any if, if, if exact measurement mal blade and scalpel by jota if exact measurement if you are, you are little doubtful then make a mark of such a trocar make a mark if you press this uh, trocar there is a marking and that size uh, we should take the horizontal incision corresponding to line of langerhans one again i repeat doctor the skin whole full thickness skin has to be cut no subcutaneous tissue no rectus sheet no deal if you poke the trocar and while nicking we should lift the abdomen basically this is our dummy patient basically he is our ot ot assistant we will lift the infra umbilical part khaljaya will lift the will your assistant and surgeon will lift the infra umbilical part whatever extent possible under anesthesia and will take the nick full thickness skin incision in pain holding manner full thickness skin incision in pain holding manner will take about 11 mm okay then again at the time of trocar entry again we'll lift the patient's abdomen the both will lift the patient's abdomen and you will insert the trocar Uh, 45 degree to the horizontal 45 degree to the horizontal this should be and in primary trocar we have to rotate from the beginning for secondary trocar only poking is necessary at the beginning for primary trocar we should rotate the trocar at the beginning whenever we feel the loss of resistance immediately stops remove the insert and connect the co2 insufflator and see the figures of the co2 insufflator if is uh, grows if that increases slowly that means we are in from like by lifting the skin there is peritoneal tenting and it will help us for the intraperitoneal entry it will ease the intraperitoneal entry of the uh, 10 mm trocar so lifting is very necessary if you don't lift then there is a higher chance that you, you are extraperitoneal it will create the false plane 
so lifting is most important in anesthesia during stabbing also we will lift during primary trocar insertion we will lift compulsory we will lift in infraumbilical part your assistant should be there for lifting if you don't lift then very difficult to do in nulliparous woman lifting is again necessary the similar technique in uh, nulliparous woman also yeah your trocar should be the sharp in nulliparous woman very difficult to lift the abdomen but trocar should be sharp okay and you should go uh, slowly rotatory movement when you feel loss of resistance immediately stop and connect the yeah the second the secondary trocar we go for vertical perpendicular then as you know doctor uh, there is a type 1 liver type 2 liver and type 3 liver the baseball diamond concept in putting the instruments inside the abdomen baseball diamond diamond concept what is baseball diamond diamond concept this is the in normal size indian patient 36 cm uh, instrument 36 cm instrument okay in morbid obese patient we should have the 45 cm instrument this is 35 this is our secondary port basically suppose my hand this is the skin basically this are inserted the 18 cm instrument should be inside the abdomen so it should be balanced what is the baseball uh, diamond concept that have the instrument in that is type 1 lever because there will be balanced uh, action so the central position of camera because it will ease it will away from the uh, abdominal organs and it will be suppose uh, the someone is uh, looking from the end of the uh, roof then that is okay it will cover whole the vision in the uh, room similar way in abdomen supraumbilical camera central position of camera very important for the proper perception it will be away from the organ and uh, it will not collide with the instrument the central position of camera the 18 cm distance from the skin so this is the baseball concept and the distance between the the angle between the two instrument should be at least 60 degree should be at least 60 degree so this is more than 60 degree should not be less than 60 degree so this is the baseball concept yeah and whatever instrument we are putting inside the abdomen should be inclined towards the pelvis should be, should be inclined towards the uterus if you instrument putting inside she direction of instrument should be towards the pelvis so automatically it comes in the vision some people feel that the instrument is missing and lot of thing they uh, in large abdomen due to pneumoperitoneum they misses the instrument because they are there the port position is not proper and this will be the should be towards the pelvis got it this is baseball a simple thing if i uh this is my the skin basically this my hand. please consider this my hand as a skin if you go inside then it will be the uh type 3 liver it will be unbalanced basically it may cause over shooting if more part more than half i introduce then again it is imbalanced basically yeah then one thing should be the direct complaining uh, injury there are different injuries if i introduce the cautery cautery and that cautery touches the trocar and trocar touches the intestine that is direct direct coupling injury direct coupling effect the current is passed from the trocar blades of the trocar to the trocar uh, blades of the instrument blades of the cautery instrument and to the trocar and trocar touches the intestine that is indirectly injury like in post operative patient patient complaints of septicemia peritonitis abdominal distension we think that surgery is fine so that's why this baseball concept is very important whatever we are doing the half the instrument should be inside the abdomen inside the from the skin of the brain this is balanced thing this is fulcrum basically fulcrum and this is the lever mechanism loading acting uh, part loading part this will be the balance balance thing will be sufficient to move in all directions so this will be the position doctor and central position of camera should be there so in baseball concept if we draw the circle of 18 cm and 24 cm our instrument should be in 18 to 25 cm that means our instrument is balanced basically half inside half outside the abdomen yeah 
So these port positions, secondary trocar points are comfortable. Let's uh, what is take home message that this uh, four port position in gynec endoscopy is su sufficient for all the procedures and uh, uh, follow the baseball concept for the instrumentation. If port position is correct, then half the surgery done because it's acts as a channel for the uh, this one instruments and uh, hope uh, all of you have understood all the things I have told. Thank you so much.